Now, you pay special attention to the following about Atlantis. All right. Ancient underwater ruins found off the coast of Spain. Atlantis again? The coast of southern Spain is an archaeological wonderland with thousands of ruins from ancient Roman and Greek cultures alike. But hidden among these crumbling stones, scientists from a private satellite imaging firm claim to have found evidence of a lost city with huge harbor walls, which they believe was built by the legendary Atlanteans over 10,000 years ago. The legendary city of Atlantis. In 400 BC, Greek philosopher Plato wrote not the history of, but the story of Atlantis in his dialogues, the Timaeus and Critias, written about 330 BC, describing the catastrophic collapse of an island-dwelling maritime civilization that had used high technology 9,000 years before Plato's own lifetime. The capital city of Atlantis was described as having huge entrance pillars, a temple to the god Poseidon, massive circular pieces of habitable land, and all this protected by computer I wish I wish I had everybody else I wish I had enough money I wish I wish I wish I try my best I do what I can in life I'm telling you this is a bunch of crap all right hold on here let's see if I can get this back <sighs> despite any proven truth to the story countless Atlantis experts myself included have all successfully located the famous lost continent in places such as the Atlantic Ocean, not buying it, Antarctica not buying it, Bolivia not buying it, Turkey not buying it, Germany, nope, Malta, nope, and Caribbean, nope, sorry. Only Cyclades Plateau and Santorini for this man, and perhaps Spain, because there have been a lot of petroglyphs found around the area. Only two months ago, the Express published a similar article claiming a researcher had finally discovered Atlantis in the Sahara. <laughs> They're talking about Jimmy that tool, <laughs> and I already, I, I already disproved him, and now this article I'm reading, which basically is piggybacking on my, uh, my statements basically. So basically, yeah, whatever. Okay. Plato, however, was crystal clear about where Atlantis was located, and I've been saying this all along for anybody that knows watches my channel. That Atlantis was located in front of the mouth, what you Greeks call, as you say, the pillars of Heracles, the pillars of Hercules, or the Straits of Gibraltar, at the mouth of the Mediterranean. Okay, did you hear what I just said? Did you? The latest discovery of the legend legendary city of Atlantis. Scientists at Merlin Burroughs are celebrating having discovered the most important archaeological finding of all time, exactly where Plato said it was, in front of the Pillars of Hercules. According to a report in the Daily Mail, Atlantis is located north of the city of Cadiz and the Lucia, centered around the Danana National Park, which the Merlin Burroughs historians believe was once a vast inland sea. Even though a live science feature in February applied crystal clear logic to establish that Plato's lost city of Atlantis was never lost, it is where it always was in Plato's books. Using satellite investigation techniques, aerial photography, and ground observations, the Merlin Burroughs experts believe they have found all the features of Atlantis Plato described and that south and north of the park there is further evidence of the ancient civilization with 15 other settlements along the dotted coastline. Once again, it's not my fault, it's my computer, sorry. 
can't be helped. I don't know what the hell to do about this situation. I really don't. I have a terrible computer. I need help. If you can fund me on Patreon, please do so because I have established myself as one of the greatest researchers of the world and I need some money. Okay? You understand that. All right? <clears throat> With 15 other settlements dotted along the coastline. What is more... They have found evidence that the city was destroyed by a tsunami. Again, just like Plato said happened to Atlantis. Showing utter defiance in the face of what will amount to a towering wall of rock hard skepticism, maritime historian Tim Akers, head of research at Merlin Burroughs, went so far as to tell reporters that his team have collected samples which have been scientifically tested in a lab in Medina, Italy, which is used to test ancient Roman finds. The results? Of the tests prove the age of the finds are older than Roman or Greek and that they were more advanced. Plato wrote that the harbor wall was 50 stadia, five and a half miles in length, and the satellite images show what Merlin Burroughs claims is evidence still visible today of sand dunes where this massive wall was destroyed by a huge influx of water, measuring an incredible 75 meters or 245 feet thick. The team also claim Laboratory analysis of material recovered from Spain showed evidence of a type of cement not seen before, as well as ancient advanced metallurgy. A greenish-blue patina has been found covering some of the ruins, which tests have shown is an ancient combination of metals. Remnants of orichalcum exposed to the salt for thousands of years? Don't know. Plato describes in detail a patina on the buildings and structures of the cities and temples making up this complex, Akers added. Andrea Carpi is a space materials engineer who commented on the test of materials. We can confirm with certainty that the samples analyzed were the creation of an ancient civilization with advanced construction methods, which makes me believe that we're talking about a civilization with very advanced technology. So, is it Atlantis? How old is this Atlantis then? Tim Aker said the site is spread over 100 miles from the Atlantic to the Mediterranean. As to age as yet, we have been unable to give a fixed date for the beginning, but its end was at least ice age around 10,000 years ago. He believes that the center of the line of coastal cities was one gigantic island inland sea pardon me inland sea 65 miles long filled with multiple islands some natural others man-made the main complex consists of two distinct individual multi-island platforms what is more one is offset from the other so that anyone on those islands can see every island in the complex it is unique nowhere in our world is there anything resembling this and the structures match exactly Plato's dimension with no deviation. De no deviation. Okay, we're not talking about the ricotta here. Okay, we're talking about actual scientific facts and data. Okay, it is absolutely spot on. Merlin Burroughs have recorded a documentary film about their mission to reveal Atlantis called Atlantica, in which their experts visit sites they believe still show clues to the past people that once lived there, right up to the naming of the ancient town in the region, Medina Sidonia. Believed to be the oldest city in Europe, the archaeologist said. The site has both Artesian, Greek, Phoenician, and Roman additions, and our scans show multiple occupations over time to the final and ultimate destruction. While Tim Akers is confident that his company not only represents the facts, and you know they try not to, de to delve into speculation, he had better really, really believe that the deepest most level of his being for he is not just claiming to have found a lost city exactly that's why i get so mad about the jimmy sheeples okay we're not just talking about any city we're talking about atlantis all right no this is much much more if a 100 mile ancient city dating to 10,000 years ago is actually discovered then our entire historical understanding of humans path through time is incorrect entirely wrong if all this is indeed, as scientists claim, Atlantis, 
than author Graham Hancock, who I see as a tool. No, he hasn't been right all along. Eh, well, that aspect may be about the cataclysm, but he doesn't really know what brought about the cataclysm. He speculates. We're not sure. An advanced civilization of humans being, human beings came to a cataclysmic end around 11,000 B.C. And every child who, was walked, who has walked into history class has been sold a lie. Yeah, yeah, you've been sold a lie. <laughs> uh, but people like me are trying to tell you the truth, okay? Understand that. But let's hope this is not the case and that this discovery of Atlantis is like the one made eight weeks ago and the two discovered in 2016. The one unearthed in 2009, and the two between 2003 and 2004. And similarly to all those previous Atlantean discoveries, this one is not being circulated on science or nature or by any other reputable academic communities. So, I mean, hey, let me see the data. I'm not going to take this guy's word for it either. I want to see images. I want to see hard, hard scientific data. I want to see what the metal is, the patina. I want to see pictures. If I don't see pictures, I don't see hard scientific data. I'm not going to believe it either. I'm not going to believe it. But I'm telling you what you better believe is that this place, according to what they're describing, is far more, you know, credible than the Rakat. And as a matter of fact, this author totally blows the Rakat out of the water, just like me. All this is supported by this uh, writer. There you go. Just as simple as that, okay? I've been saying this all along. I'm tired of the naysayers. I'm tired of the people that think they know so much, but they don't really know a jack squat. Okay? You don't know skill skadoosh. All right? All right. Now, I've been right all along, and here's the proof. Thank you very much. God willing, it recorded. I don't know. Chances are it didn't record. I don't know. God. Please tell me. That I did not waste my time again. All the... Oh my god. This is really depressing. If anybody out there can help support me on Patreon. You know, a couple thousand dollars here. A couple thousand there would be, you know... It would help my whole world, okay? I, I deserve it, alright? I've worked hard my whole life. And I just... I need some help. If you got enough money, help me out. I know there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of money. And if I had if I had the money and you needed the help, I'd help you. Okay, so if you can support me on Patreon, so be it. I would very much appreciate it. I'm not making this video longer because I'm begging for money. As a matter of the fact is, my computer is messed up. Here I go. Up oh, now the whole screen is getting large. Oh, for God's sakes, I don't know what to do frozen chances are it's going to become an error and it's not going to let me record anything and it's going to say oh it's too bad too bad so sad no video for you wasted all your time all your effort i know this is an atrocity of god okay the whole world but i had to work too hard in my life i got broke down and my family's all a bunch of piece of crap, and that's all there is to it. Now, you might think this is funny, but it's not. And I have worked hard. I am basically the Da Vinci of the modern era, okay? But I have no help. Everybody around me is a tool, okay? Just like Jimmy's sheeple follower, a tool. 